Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Danielle. I am an American expat living in Germany. My voice is starting to come back again, finally, and I'm sorry about this filming situation. The sun is setting and absolutely everywhere in the house is just terrible lighting. It's the end of the day and it's been a long one. So today I thought since my mom left I thought it would be timely to talk about some of the things I miss from home because it's something that I've definitely been pondering a lot lately. Um, it's been pretty rough going times. My mom had to leave early and I think in general we're all just starting to question like how everything is going to change after that, especially when it comes to things like tourism and travel after this situation is said and done. And um, I'm missing travel a lot in general, but today I thought I'd talk about things I miss about America and being home because who knows what the flight prices are going to be like after this. Maybe they'll be better, maybe they'll be worse, but we just don't really know. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the top 10 things I miss as a German, or no, as an American living in Germany. <laughs> so quite obviously the first thing I miss is just family and I have a lot of really good friends that I miss from California back at home. It's definitely a shame to not just be able to hop in your car and go see your family. Obviously living in Germany driving home is a big, not gonna happen <laughs> kind of thing, which just sucks to be quite frank. Next thing that I miss is the customer service. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with American customer service. On one hand, it's really nice that people are friendly and willing to help you, but on the other hand, they can come across really annoying, and it really depends on the shop. I was once in a store called Brookstone, and basically they sell kind of like unnecessities, kind of like massage machines and stuff like that, and I literally had a salesperson just kind of follow me around and I just really wanted to kind of be alone and just have a nice shopping day just like follow me around and constantly promote this and promote that and that was enough to make me want to leave the store but for the most part like if I'm at the grocery store and then somebody's asking how I'm doing and then just being really friendly and giving me a big smile like that totally brightens up my mood so I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the American customer service it really depends on the shop and how they how far they take it. Okay, so the next couple of ones are going to be about food. So the very first thing I miss the most of that we do not have, well, we do have, but it's very rare here, is Chipotle and Mexican food. Now, in California, we have like some good quality, like real Mexican food. Chipotle is not really like a true representation of that. It's kind of like an Americanized version of Mexican food, but it's still just so good. We have apparently a Chipotle in Frankfurt at the airport and maybe in some of the American bases here, but Chipotle is just so good. It's basically a place where you can like create a customized burrito and it's just so fresh. It's so amazing. They're so huge. I could live off of those Chipotle burritos, I swear it, or burritos in general. We do live off of burritos in my house. Chipotle aside, I just miss Mexican food in general. Germany does not really have good Mexican food. There are a couple places that have improved a little bit and gotten a little bit better, but I've gone to places where they've put things like zucchini and corn. Well, corn's okay, but especially like zucchini and eggplant in my burrito, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> Why would you do that? There's not really a lot of Mexican food options here. And if you do find something that is like Mexican food, it's usually not like what you're expecting if you're from America. <laughs> Next thing I miss is kind of a new thing and it wasn't even really around when I was growing up, but when we were there on holiday, uh, there was a Whole Foods and I'd love to have a Whole Foods. There was one in the UK and that was just like vegan junk food paradise. So like if you need a fix as a vegan, Whole Foods has got you set, man. And um, I just love how big the supermarkets are there. It's just so like, abundant and you feel like you literally have everything e apart from right now <laughs> with this crisis actually a lot of people in america have been saying their shelves have been worse than what i've been showing on my instagram uh but for the most part like when times are normal like there's just so much food americans like food and <laughs> they know how to do food next is free public restrooms for the most part you don't unless it's changed i don't know for the most part though you do not have to pay to go to the bathroom and you don't really have like the pressure to pay because there's usually like a cleaning woman who will have 
Like I always usually pay them because I mean cleaning bathrooms is no fun so I usually give them something but for the most part like when I was growing up I remember having a lot of free public restrooms. Here it's hard to even find a public restroom that will actually let you go in unless you're a customer and then if you do sometimes you still have to pay a fee which is really really frustrating. Next is something I semi miss. I'm not huge on drinks but you do have access to free drinks or not free drinks sorry free refills and cheaper drinks like when we go out to eat it's sometimes kind of nice to have an option to have something to drink like something other than water even if you just have water you end up paying a bunch of money one thing that i actually miss a lot is that i miss feeling like there's no shame in going out in your sweats i mean people even go out in their pajamas sometimes and if you go to walmart which i'm not much of a walmart person but the people at walmart go out in a lot less and worse than sweats. So it definitely feels like in America, like it's just more casual, like everybody doesn't really feel like they have to put on this show, I guess you can say. Like here in Germany, I feel a little bit more uncomfortable going out in my sweats from time to time. I don't really see a whole lot of people who do it. And um, I'd say like, I wouldn't say like people are over the top here, especially not moms. Like moms will usually just put on a pair of jeans or like a pair of like those hiking material pants and call it a day. But like sweatpants, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in my town who does it. Next is kind of funny because I haven't learned how to drive, but I miss the option of being able to learn how to drive in America. So learning to drive in America is really cheap. I believe you can get your driver's license for like about 200 bucks. It can vary of course, but in Germany it costs like 2000 and it's very intensive and it's highly recommended you learn manual. I'm grateful that we have a car that is automatic. Most cars that you buy in Germany are manual and they do recommend that you get a manual license. So I definitely miss the easier option of learning in America and even if I wanted to learn in America and like do like a three months in America and try to get it there, it would not be permissible here. They have disallowed that as of recently, which sucks. Next one is things are just bigger in America. Along the same lines of learning how to drive, it would be easier to learn how to drive on bigger streets. American streets are huge, even in the neighborhoods like in Germany and especially, oh my god, the UK. The UK streets are so teeny tiny and scary, oh my god, especially if you have a big car like ours. We have a VW bus. My sister actually took me out for a drive and it wasn't like a big road necessarily, but it was still like bigger than your average German road and it was just so nice, so spacious. Everything is just more spread out in America, I feel like, which has its pros and its cons. It definitely makes it difficult to get around without a car but it's kind of nice feeling like you have a lot of space and like if you live in like more rural parts like if we went for a road trip once like in Nevada and stuff like it's just empty spaces as far as you can see whereas Europe is just a lot busier and the nature you could say is even like people are just more clumped together. Also in terms of what's bigger there is just like the size of the food like when you order something which is kind of ridiculous like everybody's eyes are always bigger than their stomachs when it comes to getting food in america you hardly ever can finish it and americans aren't really accustomed to finishing their food just because we're so used to be given things that it's just totally humanly impossible to finish but it's still kind of like very satisfying for your eyes <laughs> when you look at this food like when you're starving and you go out to eat and they give you way more than you can handle things are just bigger over there it's a real thing the last thing that i'm going to say is something that i definitely notice even when i see americans come visit here and that is that americans are generally speaking pretty optimistic and very easily excitable compared to I don't know if I don't know if it's just Germans or if it's like Europeans in general, probably mainly Germans. I don't know, but um, I can definitely say that like Americans, we just talk louder when we're excited. We get really excited about stuff like everybody knows about it in the restaurant. I definitely miss sort of that sort of like zest for life. Like not that Germans don't have zest for life. They're just more low key, but I definitely feel like energetically, like I just get really excited by people who are also as easily excited about little things like I am. So that's probably the thing that I miss the absolute most. That was all the things that I could come up with for now. I think I will film also a video of things I miss 
just about California because as you guys know I am from California so I'll probably do that really really soon. If you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It actually does help my channel out so much so I'd really appreciate it. I make videos like this about once a week but we also vlog our lives. I am an American expat mom so I have three German little babies who we are raising bilingual and we just vlog every now and again. So go ahead and subscribe if that's something you're interested in and I'm also on Instagram daily if you guys want to check that out. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!